Yes, football is back, so we are here to talk about football once again. I'm here doing this with Lamendi Jr. and then Sterling. We're here to talk about some big matches that's going to happen on the 31st of March. We also need you guys to subscribe to the channel, do well to share for others to also come and watch. Let's keep it an interactive one. So, Sterling, welcome back um, from the break. Uh, international break. Yeah. yeah. yeah Lamendi, break. you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, football is back. Are you, are you excited? Back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 all right. So, we are here to talk about some games <coughs> that will be happening on Sunday. We have some big games that we have to talk about. Yeah, so let's start with Madrid and then Athletic Club. Um, what do you think about this match? Let me start with Sterling. Uh, of course, Madrid Athletic Bilbao in Spain is a great game, of course. And I see Madrid to be already one of the champions to me of La Liga. But a team that is very, very hard to play against this uh, this season is Atletico Bilbao, who are really performing under Ernesto Valverde, you know, who is a former coach of your, your ugly team, Barcelona. But it's all part of the system. Relax, respect yourself. No, I just have to respect a team myself. like Chelsea, you are coming to tell me. No, it's, Chelsea is not that bad this season. Just respect yourself and okay, continue saying what you say. Sorry Good. for that. Thank you. It was just uh, by the way. Thank so, you. Against um, an Atletico Bilbao side, side that play a very counter attacking football. With the likes of Inaki and his brother Nico Williams on the wings. You know, they've been really tormenting big clubs this season. Sure. They are part of top four, as if I'm not wrong. And then they are doing really well this season. They haven't been great for the past seasons, but this season under the, uh, the management of Ernesto Valverde, they are doing a very good job. So I see them to be a bit. Um, Hard for Madrid this this time around. Okay. Yeah. Lamendi, what do you say about this match? Just a brief one. Yeah, just like um, you were saying, you know, it's and it's also a very important game for Madrid as well. Looking at Bilbao, they are also fighting their way to to be in the top four. Yeah, to be Europe once again. Yeah, they've been in Europe. Yeah, yeah, the same points with Atletico Madrid. So yeah. they they need this game. At, it's, it's very important to them, just like it's important to Madrid. Mm -hmm. And Madrid fighting for the league and Barcelona catching up with them. Yeah, Barcelona so, catching up. Somewhere. Yeah, and this is, after this game, they are going to play with Man City. So yeah. they also need a win. So it's going to be a very tough game. Yeah, Looking yeah. at where both teams stand. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's just like you were saying, uh, Bilbao are playing very good under this Ernesto Valverde. So it means it's going to be a tough game, yeah. Okay, so let's go to the next match. Um, um let's move on to the Premier League matches. There are these two big matches that we have. Sterling and Lamendi are going to take us into details of these matches, what to expect. We'll get Java football and obviously the actual yeah, football, football is like football is like good. Football yeah. Is like, you know. Football I, I do understand, but Chelsea is not life. Mm, no Wahala now. We will come back. It's part of life. It's time. You, yeah. you just calm down. You don't have a life in life. A bonkele, a bonkele I understand Chelsea. what you're saying. It's part of life. Chelsea is not a problem. Talking about things like this, if, if it was to be Chelsea, Chelsea, we are going to sack our Germany. I don't know whether you heard that one. Which one? The body will be stepping down so that there will be somebody who knows football will be taken out. So don't worry, that is just by, <laughs> by the way. That might so, I mean, we'll be our, that might be our back case. <laughs> No, no, not your back. You are talking the to person, the person you are telling is also having problems with this team. So no, just keep quiet. Yes, I, I do understand, but he's, he's still having some problems with this team. We are all having problems. Yeah, my shit United. Yeah. We are all <laughs> having problems. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Okay, yeah. So Liverpool and then Brighton. What do you think about this match? Um, yeah. Lamen, 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 Lamen. Uh, you go. Yeah, Liverpool and Brighton, and just like he said in the beginning, this is a game. You you will be watching it. Of course, the game. Yeah, I know. Just after the game, you are also just after the whistle goes Bruce for. Yeah. yeah. Then you are expecting the big game as well. Yeah. Arsenal and Man City. City. So looking at where Liverpool stands right now, they have to win. Yeah. And Brighton, they are very stubborn. They can do whatever they want, especially on on a very good day when they have their day with the squad and how they play. Yeah. And for me, I will have to see Liverpool. Winning the game just to make uh, to give Arsenal and Man City a bit, um, yeah, pressure, and, you know. and that will make their game even better. Looking yeah. at when when Liverpool wins, just imagine 
uh, we still goes off and Liverpool has won their game. Yeah. It will give some Both kind of spirit, yeah, in the Arsenal teams. and Man City. That's what the makes. Yeah, so better. okay, all the right. Premier League we have very good games to watch. Okay, so talking of Arsenal and then Man City, that's the next game I'm going to talk about. So what do you have to talk about that, uh, Sterling? Before I continue with what he was saying, I'll just start from the Liverpool Brighton. Okay, yeah, sure. Liverpool Brighton. Right now, the Arsenal Man City depends on Liverpool Brighton. And De- Liverpool Brighton depends, depends on Arsenal Man. Yeah. Okay. These are, these are two matches that right now Man City and Arsenal fans will be supporting Brighton. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. But just, just, if they can't win, they just get them a draw. Get a draw. So right now, it's like Ajinkov, Man City, and Liverpool. Ajinkov, I feel. It's now Brighton. So this game, Brighton has been a foreman, but this is in the fact a couple of injuries that I yeah. think uh, that has him helped them a lot. So, looking at this game, if you're just going to analyze this game, you see Brighton are right now are looking forward to what to revive their season. They haven't been good this season, but against the Liverpool side that is willing to win every trophy that has for uh, Jurgen Klopp before he leaves. Ah, but so, we knocked them off, huh? Yeah, for that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were trying to go for the and Barrow, Kassa, right? Yeah, and yeah. They, have now, they now have the three trophies to go off. But I expect Liverpool to win this game over Brighton and Arsenal Man City. Coming to this game, Arsenal and Man City, that's the biggest game like in the week, like one right now, at least yeah. in this, for this week. Arsenal uh, Man City, it is a, a master and an apprentice, always, yeah. that you like that, you know. They are coming into this game both with the same point, if I'm not mistaken. And they are going to make sure that they give us both, of course, a Spanish. With a same style of play. They just play you. By the time you realize they are just in your uh, box. Of course. With no pressure. And then they just give it to you. So I see as Man City to be a very um, top uh, cranking game for... But the title decided, you know. Of yeah, course, yeah. Talking about the teams, the strength of the team, the mentality of Man City is something different. Yeah. You know, when they went for the international break, mm-hmm. um, Declan Rice, he said yeah. he saw John Stones and told him, We have a game. Big game next. And the he did not even know. That is yeah, next game is. Yeah, yeah we, we that, is what, that is what you, you always uh, praise Pep for. He's just having some mind games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the international breaks, we will see... He doesn't you know, put pressure in the minds of no, his players. They are calm. They, they know come. they are going to do it. They, so. go, they going to do it. Before this international break, we had this a lot of injuries coming in. Haaland is injured. Kevin De Bruyne is available, right? Saka, we also saw, saw Saka pulled out. John Stones, yeah. Walker. That's why most teams hate the international break. So, I think this game is going to depend on... The mentality of the, uh, the the guys to do whatever their their their, their coach asks them to do. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, Lamende, you have just one minute to talk about the Man City and then Arsenal match. No, I think he said it all. It's it's the game all of us will be willing to watch. But I wish Liverpool wins, and then it gives pressure to these two teams, and they'll give us a wonderful game. Yeah, and when they play, their style of play is like similar. Yeah, it's similar. So yeah. we are expecting a very nice game. All right, so um, I think these are the matches we are going to talk about. And um, as I said, do well to subscribe to your channel. We are very concerned about that one. Just yeah. share it for others to kind of watch. Put your comments in the comments. Your comments are very important to us because we get excited and uh, excited and know what to tell you guys whenever we see your comments. And also do well to like the video. I go by the name Leroka. I did this with Lamendi and then Sterling. Yeah, he's in his kiki. Yeah. Good to, of course. Kiki, yeah. So if you see Stelly in town, you can call him, of course. And if you see Lamendi, you can say, put your all in. <laughs> <laughs>